What's doing? Welcome to another episode. This week we're going to get stuck back into the Hilux. I've uh, worked at the cash can. Yep, that's right. So I spoke with Psycho and they actually have a bracket. I don't need to make a bracket and it, they've sent it out to me while I was away for the last two weeks on a training course. So I've got it here, let's have a look and we'll get stuck into it. So yeah, as before, the previous bracket mounted down here and the catch can set over here. Um, I'll try and open a fair photo, but if you go back in the last video you were seeing. So now we have a new bracket. Yeah, they supply us a new bracket. Uh, this one actually bolts to the tub in the guard liner, uh, leans up against the air box and then holds it, cracks it out and around the back. So. Uh, Get some things out of the way, we'll uh, get the catch can, we'll mount the bracket, we'll mount the catch can, and hopefully that sorts out that issue. So, down in here. Ooh, need me muscles, I have to use two hands, hang on, I'll get back to you. Oh no, we got him. Oh, drop the socket. Please hold. We we'll fast forward a little bit. I have the bracket down in here where it should go, I should have that little foam that sits up against the box that it needs to, and the bracket sits here. Now the problem we have is the catch can on the last setup is facing a different way. So when we try to put this in here, it ain't going to work. It's going to hit the wrong way. So now we're going to move this catch can around and sit in the right direction. So these are pretty easy to do. You just pop this little rod out of here and we can rotate this around to where it needs to be and we'll get it in the right spot. I'll just do a couple of dummy runs here now and we get this in the right spot and we'll show you at the end. I've rotated that catch can around. Let's have a look inside and see what it looks like now. So yeah, as you can see, I've rotated that around um, just by unhooking that little latch and swinging it around to where it needs to be. Uh, and the bottom hose now kicks over in the same spot where it needs to go as well, just in between here. And the top line lines up pretty well with where it needs to go. Obviously the back's a little bit loose, so we'll maneuver where I need to go. So now we can pull this off of here. We can stick this up and under in here. Stick that on there, and then when I have two hands, that'll go onto there, onto the bottom hose and fit in the factory location take so it's all connected as per it should be for legality so we just need to do up those bolts down here do up the bolts in here uh, the only difference is uh, the one from the suppliers comes with all nut certs and these ones have to be have nuts on them so I'll just grab them now and show you so yeah factory ones have these nut certs so you literally just bolt into those and it stays on there and sits in there like that um, but they're not going to work, so you just get some little uh, nylock nuts so they don't come undone. We'll tighten them up, they're a bit loose at the moment, like I said. We'll tighten them up, we'll put the hoses on top and bottom, and that'll sort that out. And like I said, it has the foam backing on the back here, so when it sits up against the airbox, it won't scratch it. And all goes back in and fits like it should factory, looking almost like. So uh, let's get these bolted up. All right, so I just went for a five minute job somewhere else on another car and I had a bit of a minute to think. So what I've done is I've actually rerouted this under the fifth injector housing. Uh, well, under the next two, so it's a little bit looser and it's nice and loose and not as tight and pulling on it. And I also did, I don't know if you see it, the drain tube uh, down there, just to find it. Uh, the drain tube connected in the factory spot, well, not factory, but, oh, you know, not factory, but the where I put it originally. So where I had it originally with the ProVent set up, the, all the hoses all fit in the location, so big ups to Psycho. The hoses fit the same location, the drain fits the same location, the return fits the same location, and the catch can fits in an awesome spot. So it's uh, now in and done. I can just basically put this engine cover back on. And somewhere in there. Like that. We've got two nuts to go on up the top over there, but she fits in, fits under the cover still. There's heaps of room under here. Uh, and I'll get a catch can back. So since driving it as well, um, now obviously another tune and airbox and things. Uh, around town, I'm now down at 9.1, I'll show you here. Uh, so we're down, focus, somewhere there. There you go, 9.1. Uh, so we're at 9.1 around town, whereas before I was at high 10s, 11s. Uh, and on the highway, I'm getting down to high 7s and 8s, depending on traffic. The last two weeks I've been driving to uh, Brendale and back, and in traffic obviously both ways. They were sitting about 8.2s, 
Uh, on the weekend we drove down and I got it down to seven and a half, seven eights, because um, I could just sit in high gear and cruise, not stop starting traffic. So that's awesome. The other thing I noticed as well is with the snorkel, which we haven't spoken about since fitting it, is the dose noise. So I don't have that stupid uh, stainless steel induction noise or you can drive down with your, drive with your window down, no noise at all, can't hear anything. So the only cool thing is this. That's right, so we've still got turbo flutter, um, dosing, whatever you want to call it, um, surging, whatever you want a technical term may be, but you, when you drive along in traffic it sounds pretty cool, but you don't have that massive induction noise where you can't drive with your window down. Uh, I can drive window down around town, 100 k's an hour, trailer on, off, whatever it may be, and it doesn't change anything, it still sounds really nice and quiet inside, uh, but you get a bit of induction noise there, which is like an induction noise with that um, turbo flutter noise that people want with the stainless, but you don't get that drone. All right, so that's it, we're in. Uh, it's all fitted up. I'll probably load up the uh, part number and everything on my website so you can order from me directly if you need to, if you can't find it. Uh, they do have it on the Psycho website, but I'm gonna start stocking their air boxes as well because it's such an awesome product. Uh, but yeah, she's in, she's all done. And oh, so I'll stock this for the N80, uh, Gen 3, uh, probably fits the Gen 1, 2, everything, the same thing with it, because of the way it sort of locates with the catch cam. Uh, but yeah, she's in, all tucked away. It's all nice and neat, no pulling on it. There's all away from the heat and everything's, nice and secure not going anywhere got the catch cam back on a stop in the oil builder coming the intake and uh we're pretty much done so i do have a heap of other things to come on this now the last two weeks being off um i'm a bit behind time on other things i need to get done uh but i do have a heap of parts coming for this which would be cool some stuff that is wank factor some stuff that will help uh with the day-to-day -day running of the car uh and big trips got planned coming up so uh, make sure you stay tuned hit that like hit subscribe and uh, let us know what you think. Uh, for some reason or whatever, over the last week or two, the algorithms picked up my web, my channel, and it started skyrocketing. Uh, so appreciate everyone giving it a watch. Hopefully you're liking the N80s uh, content. We do have a few more things with, like I said, behind me here. We do have this. Uh, Josh got busy building a motor while I was away. Uh, so motor can go back in. I have more parts for the VL. People asking about the VL. I have more bits for that to go in. Uh, we've got project car of Jared's back. Uh, so I'll show you that quickly now. This is one we've built from the ground up. So we have LS running aircon, column shift auto, which Tim made up here. We've got a little column shift auto, so that's all come back. We've got a heap of things put back together for this. Uh, so this should be a cool little cruise when it comes back with aircon. And we're going to get Nick's car sorted out as well um, with this big thing. Uh, huge doggy. Uh, so we'll get that sorted as well. So yeah, so we've got a few things on the go uh, between the regular cars and mine, customers cars and the secret one that's out the front that I've just bought but that'll go away for a while. Uh, so hopefully you like what we've got going on, hang around, stay tuned for more and uh, I've got a few things that should be uh, interesting in the next couple of weeks. So thanks guys, see you next time.